Every mom is different, every dad is different, every baby is different. But when it comes to your body, when it comes to your baby, you're an expert. What you expect is the instructions that babies and bumps don't come with, but probably should. What to expect is the answer to all of your questions, um, the reassurance for all your worries, um, and that, that knowledge that empowers you. Though so being 100% prepared for your baby's arrival probably isn't possible, there are bound to be surprises, especially if you're a first-time parent. I also like to think of what to expect as a hug. You know, a hug that everybody needs, especially when they're going through these challenging new experiences. The most important takeaway is knowing that a symptom is normal, um, knowing that you're not alone, knowing you're not the only one whose baby won't stop crying at 3 a.m. It doesn't necessarily make it go away, though of course I'll give you lots of advice and tips on how you can try to make it go away, but it helps you cope with it more effectively to know that you're not alone. Pregnant and completely clueless. Clueless about how I'd gotten pregnant beyond the basic biology. I had that down, but I was pretty sure I wouldn't be able to conceive. And clueless about what to do now that I was. I read and I read, but I couldn't find what both of us desperately needed to know. What to expect when you're expecting. I feel like I have a personal connection to the reader writing for you, the mom, you, the dad, um, trying to imagine what you're going through at that moment. And of course, it helps to have been pregnant in the past myself and been a new parent, because I, I sort of think you need to be able to put yourself in a pregnant woman's shoes to know what she's going through. You know, I understand her shoes don't fit because, you know, her feet are swollen. To have that empathy is key to what to expect. So hearing my voice, hopefully you feel like you know me um, because I feel like I know you.